Morning. I was uh, gonna grab a cup of coffee. You free? Oh, thanks, but I actually just had my third cup of the day. I think I've had enough caffeine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, probably. Excuse me. Uh, Dr. Frisch is on her way, but can someone take a look at my daughter? Her fever seems worse. Sure. I'll see you later. Hi, I'm Dr. Manning. It's Lily. Called Dr. Frisch because she was short of breath. The girls are her patients. And Lily's fingers, they're cold. You know, when one girl's sick, it might be best not to keep her in such close contact with her sister. We don't really have a choice. Which one's Lily? Lily's on the left. Marcy. Ms. Goodwin, hi. Dr. Rhodes, Dr. Frisch. I see you have met the Cronin twins. Yeah. They're scheduled for separation surgery in 10 weeks. The hospital has assembled a team from 12 different departments. Dr. Frisch is their pediatric cardiologist. How are they doing? I detected scattered ronchi in both of Lily's lungs, intercostal and thoracoabdominal retractions. I'm thinking pneumonia, but I was about to order a baby gram and a CBC. Thank you, Dr. Manning. We'll handle it from here. Let's get him up to the PICU. I want to get a transthoracic echo and an EKG. And blend sputum cultures. Yep. All right, you two. Let's get going. This echo shows significant dilation of both the right and left ventricles. If we look here at twin A. Uh, for the record, twin A is Lily. The aortic stenosis has significantly diminished forward flow and has compromised ejection fraction to 19%. You're saying essentially that she's in heart failure? She will die within the next few hours without intervention, yes. And if she does, she takes that with her. We need to consider moving up to separation surgery. We're not prepared. We haven't rehearsed the procedure. And even if we had, it's not an option. The surgery is scheduled for when it is so the twins can grow. Well, I'm not taking the word of a couple fellows. Page Dr. Latham. He's going to tell you the same thing. The twins aren't robust enough yet to survive the surgery. Go. The surgery involves separating the twins' chest wall and reconstructing their shared atrium. However, we still don't have a clear enough image of their liver's venous system to determine if it can be split. In addition, Lily is now immunocompromised. If you were to estimate the odds of success... At this point, that both survive. Zero. Lily is not strong enough. But if we concentrated all of our efforts on Dot, would we be able to save her? Yes, I believe so. Hold on a second. Are we actually discussing terminating Lily's life? We're discussing the best course of action. Well, if, as Dr. Krasny said, the problem is Lily's underlying condition, we should be addressing that. You mean take them to the cath lab? Exactly. We widen Lily's aortic valve, increase her blood flow. Too risky. We still don't have a real grasp of the twins' vascular anatomy, the routing, how open the lumen is. We're just guessing until we open them up. I completely agree we need a better roadmap. That's why we should first perform a transesophageal echo. You want to put the twins under general anesthesia, waste one of the few hours we might have left so you can get a better roadmap for a procedure too risky to even try? Dr. Latham, care to wrangle your fellow? Having to surrender a child is tragic. I'd be remiss if we didn't exhaust every opportunity to try to save her. I second Dr. Rhodes's recommendation. All right, let's get the echo. Dr. Rhodes, Dr. Becker, a moment. If we are successful in saving both the twins, a separation surgery can go as scheduled. I have decided to name Dr. Rhodes as my second. Dr. Becker, I'd still like you to be prepared as backup. Of course. Congratulations. Thank you. 